Super Doppler 4 HD weather forecast. Uh, it's a live shot right now from downtown Greenville from Sky 4. Beautiful weather outside right now for if you're going to a concert or if you're just going to head to downtown, go to some of the fantastic restaurants or just, just walk around downtown Greenville because what a beautiful evening outside. Unseasonably warm across the area right now and it is just so nice. I'm flying through the air. I'm heading into downtown Greenville. This is just a beautiful weather. It is just hard to believe. Take a look at these temperatures. First, I want to show you the satellite picture, and you can see the clouds coming in. So we'll have some mid to high level clouds skirting across our skies from time to time tonight. So it'll be on the increase, but they're made up of ice crystals. So don't expect any rain. The rain is well to our southwest. and It's going to stay there until maybe as we get into tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow night. And it really looks like we're almost got kind of a split flow. Uh, one of the pieces of the energy is going to go north and weaken across our area while the main piece moves moves along the Gulf Coast, so it doesn't look like much of a system at all. Uh, probably more cloudiness tomorrow than really rain, just a 20-30% chance. We'll start off at 35 degrees. We started off at 35 this morning, exactly where we should be for this time of the year, but not the high temperature. We hit 70 this afternoon at the GSP National Airport. If my math is correct, that would be 13 degrees above the average for this time of the year. We missed the all-time record by 5 degrees, 75 degrees set back in 1976. Started off very cold, 28 degrees. I talk about this a lot when we have very dry air in place. If we have clear skies and very little wind to speak of, we cool off dramatically at night but then we warm up quickly during the day. Look at this, from 28 to 68, 17 degrees above the average for this time of the year, and missed the record, though, by 8 degrees, 76 degrees, set way back in 1927. Live shot, this is just a gorgeous picture. I could just look at this forever. Here's your high cloudiness coming through, and because it's made up of ice crystals, it produces a beautiful sunset, and you can see all the yellows and oranges, and this is a live shot looking over Lake Hartwell right now on this Friday evening. It's 64 in Anderson, 66 degrees right now in Hartwell, 63 in Asheville, 63 degrees currently in Hendersonville. Look at these numbers. Chris joins me right now in the Weather Center. This is amazing, Chris. Have we had winter at all this year? <laughs> 12 days, John. I mean, you can yeah. go back and look at the calendar and just pinpoint a few in December, a few in January, and then very few in February. But 12 days have been below average. The rest of it, 74% of our winter have been above average temperatures. And when you look at the numbers specifically, since January 1st, just 60 degree days. We've had 21 of them so far this year, just nine last year. And when you look at 70 degree days, we've had 10 so far this season and zero last year. This is all due to to a very uh, La Nina pattern across the area, John, but that looks to be flipping as we head into spring, which could give us a bit more moisture, which should help the drought. Yeah, that'd be great news. I'll tell you, you know, Chris, yeah, we're still in a drought situation, nothing major, nothing severe, but we are in a drought situation. But look at the comparison between this year and last year. Unbelievable how warm, and March looks like the same. All right, thanks, Chris. I appreciate it. Let's take a look at the winds outside right now. Out of the southwest at 14 miles per hour in Greenville, continuing to bring in all that warmth, 19% humidity. So we're bringing in the warmer temperatures, but not the humidity. 67 right now in Columbia, same story in Augusta. 74 degrees in St. Louis, just as warm as, in fact, it's warmer than Orlando in Miami, where they're in the low 70s. Give you some idea. Big ridge of high pressure out here. Here's that little piece of energy in the upper atmosphere that's kind of swinging. It's kind of split. And so it's a split flow. Big storm system out in California. And otherwise, we're talking about this big ridge out in the middle part of the country. It's going to move across our area just in time for Sunday. So watch this system come in as we go through the day tomorrow. More clouds, maybe a couple of stray showers or sprinkles. That's really about it. As we go through tomorrow night, looks pretty good. And then on Sunday, more sunshine and warmer temperatures. Here's our forecast for tonight. Cloudy this returns not as cold though 44 degrees 37 for the overnight low in the mountains for tomorrow a stray shower possible high 69 maybe low 70s isolated showers only a 20 30 percent chance to look at those showers as we go through the day tomorrow and look at sunday how nice is that we'll keep it warm through early next week